All right, I want to end on a question about uh, Twitter, something that's all now a part of our lives and a useful part of our lives. I had two reactions today, um, which is one, I, when the unemployment numbers were released, there was a flurry of useful information, experts on the topic, parsing it, explaining what was important, what wasn't important. Then I also, the other people I cover, because all of us cover and listen to Twitter because it's a part of the world we live in, all of our colleagues are on it, I saw about 9,000 jokes about Julia um, from conservatives that I follow, some of them funny, many of them just beating the horse until it was like glue, very much like the Etch-a-Sketch jokes about the Romney campaign that went on for days and days. And, and at some point I thought, this is ruining this is bad. This is not good. So I'm uh, feeling like it's a very open question as to whether it's toxic or informative. And I want to ask this question first of you. Well, I and think all I, of you are going to have to answer this. I think just like the just like the media, it's both. We can you know you can pick and choose your outlets. You can read the New York Times, or you can read uh, something on the far right or the far left. Uh, you can. Um, uh, you know, sort of pick and choose your pick and choose your your follow followees, if you will, who who you follow. So it's maybe we need maybe we just need like two different sets of uh, of, of uh, twitters, the two two twitters, if you will, one for uh, nonpartisan and one for partisan. Right. Purposes. So I should just get over it and turn over turn off the channel or walk, you know <laughs> streamline yeah, I mean, it, my viewership. Well, I mean, it's the ultimate. The technology provides you the ultimate control, right? And so not only can you choose who you follow or don't follow, but but. You know, there's different programs that you make lists, so you could say, here's a list for all of my pathetically, you know, awful jokester people that I follow, and but here's one for the series. They mix and match. So. Somebody will be brilliant for three quarters of the time, and then, and and I'm sure this is basically none what of people say none about of us, me. however. Yeah, right. Right. So no, 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 I think yeah, this is we're in the less read category. Yeah, yeah I, I'm big on lists. I think it's important, but it's really it gives you a very quick pulse on what is happening. You know, if I'm not able to watch a campaign speech. I can turn on Twitter and know in about seven minutes if news was made, if a bad gaffe was made, mm -hmm. what the reaction is from the partisans, and that's just a really helpful thing mm -hmm. to inform your reporting. But it also, I am still a huge fan of it for crowdsourcing purposes, local stories. I mean, Reed is one of my favorite people to link to because he reads every single local paper in the entire country. <laughs> but um, And so it's always helpful to sort of know that flavor right. of what's happening, but also Hey, I'm going to be in this state. I'd like to know the best hot spots to talk to voters, and people will tell you. They people do. Really That's true. Will reach out and be honest with you on Twitter in a way that you can't interact in other forms. That's true. All right, just so have to fine. Know when to turn it off. Right. We've redeemed it. It's just my problem. <laughs> so that's true of most things. And you but, are such a prolific tweeter. Um, all right.